so we we're in for a chance to win all Ireland. Just, you, co you couldn't write it. It's like a dream, like you don't think it's real where like, St. Colm kills in an all Ireland final, like we had not won a championship for 29 years and then you're playing in Crow Park and there's 10,000 supporters there, like it's totally flipped. Mind blowing, if you were to say that the year before we got to Crow Park, just, they just laugh at you and just say you're not right in the head at all. Like. It's going to be a tough challenge to beat them, like they had a few Mayo players as well, Lee Keegan as well, it was obviously the all-star uh, player of the season. I remember just being overcome with nerves in the change room and just going, please, please, don't make a mistake. We had that confidence to go head to head with them and just take them on, like there was no stepping back. Ball is in, the game is on, and may the best team win. We started the game very, very well, so we did. I think we got one or two scores, and that kind of just settled us down a small bit. Westport, in fairness, dominated the first 15 minutes, and we missed a lot of opportunities for freeze. No time to think in that game, we're eight points up and drop. Dropped the ball completely because like it was just a roller coaster, it was complete mayhem to be honest. Well, they're shooting from everywhere and anywhere. They're attacking in waves, our Westport. Graham Riley won the breaking ball and he just, it was a clear path through open for him, so he um, obviously exploited that space. Um, James Connor was running off and then he put it into the back of the net. I think we were a bit shell shocked then when they got the goal back to bring it back down to two. Paddy O'Malley got a kick out then. Uh, I managed to win the ball down, I don't, I don't even know how I won it to be honest yeah. What she needs. Lightning quick, couldn't get caught, left two of them for dust. And buried it into the bottom corner. Nothing was going right for it. I can remember the sickening feeling there in my stomach even just thinking we're after going, coming all this way and we're after just making a complete show of ourselves. It's been a fascinating first half in the AIB All-Ireland Intermediate Club Football Final. That point from Graham Riley means that St. Cullum Kills have narrowed the margin back to six points at the break. At halftime, we were, I think we were losing by about six points. And our manager, Colin Nally, always said stick to the process, we have a plan. What you would think is a comfortable lead of six, with six points at halftime, but obviously in the second half, all hell broke loose. And it's popped up and over by Ben Brennan. Some space, and that is a fantastic score. But the tail of the second half so far, two column kill scores from two shots, three wides for Westport, down for four point game. Everything looked in our favour, like it really did. Little did we know, you know, you, ne you can never keep a mid team down. It was kind of how our whole season just went. We didn't know when we were beat, geez, lads, we can, we can pull this back here. Like. How many times over the years have we seen teams in the Royal County come back from the dead? Righty shot, goal! Uh, we got a, um, a kind of lucky penalty in, uh, late on in the second half. Um, I'm not sure what the goalie was doing, but I think McCluskey. he could have clipped um, our midfielder, Robbie McCluskey. Obviously, the come kill lads were protesting and saying it was a penalty. And uh, then I, I saw the umpires all waving it wide. Ref rolls the whistle. Is he going to buck him? Is he going to no? Bang. Penalty. Somebody stepped in, either a linesman or an umpire, to say you've got a decision to make. And Patrick O'Malley has been black -hearted. Madness, I suppose, it just fitted in with the game, didn't it? Just all over the place. Jack Reynolds against Aaron Dunn. Goal! Three points down, five minutes to go. It's testing their character. We're here, lads. What are you going to do about it? All the momentum was with them at this stage. We just have to try and stop them. The, the game was going to blow up in any, any minute. And just even just seeing James Conlon getting the ball and kicking it. And geez, when that ball was in the air, it felt like it was in the air for 20 seconds. But everyone just slowed down, really. By Brian O'Malley. It's all over! Westport are the All Ireland champions, and Mayo's famine at Crow Park is over. It was just it was an unbelievable feeling, you know, to um, to end the game in such in such drama, you know. You're looking over to the crowd and you know they're blue, the same colour as us, and you can't distinguish, you just think there's 9,000 Colin Gills people over there looking. And we've let them down. It's not nice to lose, you know, especially in the big stages. Sport doesn't always f finish the way you want it. My rugby career finished at training on a Thursday and I never played rugby again. First ever Mayo team to do it to win an intermediate All Ireland. Just I remember just putting the trophy up in the air and just being like, this is this is what you, you know, this is what you're playing Gaelic football for. Westport join Cross Malina and Ballina Stevenites as teams that have came, seen and conquered on All Ireland Club final day.